President Bola Tinubu has inaugurated the Presidential Committee on Physical Policy and Tax Reforms. The inauguration took place in Abuja on Tuesday. More in this report. The Presidential Committee on Fiscal Policy and Tax Reforms has been charged to transform the tax system to support sustainable development and achieve a minimum of 18% tax to GDP ratio within the next three years. President Tinubu said the committee has as its objective the advancement of viable and cost-effective solutions to issues such as multiplicity of tax collection agencies, the high cost of revenue administration, and the lack of effective coordination between fiscal and other economic policies across all levels of government. As president, I am determined to end this cycle. On the day of my inauguration, I promise that, I will, that my administration will address all the issues impeding investment and economic growth in Nigeria. This promise is why I saw an end to the first subsidy. It is the reason the central bank has called an end to its multiple exchange rate system. It won't happen under my watch. And for this same reason, we gather here today to inaugurate the Presidential Committee on Fiscal Policy and Tax Reform. The chairman of the committee, Taiwo Oyedele, said if the country is to achieve the needed growth, aside from other necessities, there is the need to create a conducive environment to attract private and foreign investment through a comprehensive approach and coordinated strategy. He further hinted the committee will evolve ways of mobilizing more tax revenue without necessarily increasing tax burdens. Our approach will be comprehensive and long-term focused, addressing fiscal concerns related to sustainable development goals as well as multidimensional poverty, ensuring responsible energy transition and a coordinated strategy to elevate revenue reporting and quality of spending. Empirical data affirms that Nigerians are willing to fulfill their tax obligations when they see meaningful returns on their tax contributions. We must therefore be intentional in renewing the social contract and more importantly, act in the best interest of our nation. Nigeria has potential for every mobilization that should be sufficient to cater for our people without resorting to excessive borrowing, which overcrowd out the private sector and limit our ability to finance sustainable development, quick jobs, and prosperity for Nigeria. Speaking after the inauguration, the representative of the World Bank said the agenda of the committee is key to helping Nigeria achieve inclusive growth with more economic opportunities and better services for Nigerians. I think this is why the agenda for this committee is so important to what we at the World Bank are here to help Nigeria do. And so I'm very honored that I was invited to be part of this. Support, you know, most of the financing that we provide is directly for services like primary health care, electricity access, rural roads. Those are things that what well, we look forward to a day where Nigeria is fully financing those from its own government resources. And so I would love to see a day where the work of this committee lays the foundation for making our financing redundant. Members of the committee drawn from the private and public sectors and ministries, departments and relevant agencies have further charged to cooperate fully with the committee towards achieving their mandates. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.